Mesa County administrators say Japanese beetles are doing more than just bugging people, and today officials declared the beetle a public nuisance. Our Mark Bott digs into why. The Japanese beetle is an invasive insect. It arrived to the U.S. from Japan in 1916, and since then has caused about $450 million in damage every year. Melissa Schreiner is an entomologist from Colorado State University working in Colorado's Western Slope. Last year, 240 of the bugs were found in Mesa County. In talking with her and Mesa County Noxious Weed and Pest Coordinator Duncan Deardorff, it was clear. It could become unmanageable within just a few years if we do nothing. The Japanese beetle has two major phases. Its early larval phase is the best time to treat it. During that time, it can be found more easily. The hot spots are going to be golf courses, irrigated turf grass, like neighborhoods and lawns and parks. But if it's allowed to grow, it can become a big problem. Japanese beetle gets to the Palisade area. It could potentially put people out of business. Schreiner told me they can fly up to two miles and spread very quickly. It can feed on almost anything that humans like and are planting in their yards. But she says it's not all bad news. Mesa County has already kicked the bugs out before. Um, it's a success story. Here in Palisade, it's one of the only areas that has the data to support that the Japanese beetle has been officially eradicated. Mesa County commissioners officially declared the beetle to be a nuisance pest in their meeting Tuesday morning and plans to take action to control and eradicate the pest. First on the Western Slope, Mark Bott, KREX 5 News. All right, well, on Thursday, the county will have a joint meeting with the city of Grand Junction to discuss treating the biggest hotspot around G Road between 25 and 26 roads. The ongoing project to expand 24 and G Roads is going as planned.